Uh, my name is Kyle Lundy Berggren, and I am the founder of If Grand Forks. I first heard about If Gathering in 2015 when they had one in Fargo, and I went with a friend. And when I came back, I felt like the Holy Spirit telling me to lead it in Grand Forks for the next year. Hi, my name is Doris Levy, and I'm the president of Love in Action. I heard about the IF conference through a very good friend of mine. I'm Carly Miles. I'm from Freedom Church, and I heard about IF a while back at my home church, actually in Rochester, Minnesota, um, when we lived there for a couple years. And so I've been going to IF conference for about six, six or seven years now. If Gathering connects people from different generations, different denominations. I love that I can look around the room and see a middle schooler and I can see someone that has gray hair and a lot of wisdom. I love that it connects people from different churches that normally wouldn't be able to worship together. And I love that it's a community event. It's not just an event that's at one church and only people from that church are invited. It's really beautiful to see God's people gather together. I've seen many times where there's people that haven't seen each other for a while that didn't know each other were coming and they embraced each other. Sometimes there's a lot of tears and come along people and pray beside them and with them. And it's just really beautiful to gather together. I'm coming to IF this year so that I can connect with a lot of the women that I connected with before and I really like the unity of people coming together and just enjoying the conference together, putting down different um, differences and just coming together with one accord. I love the fellowship, I love the worship, uh, the sessions, they're just really powerful and um, you just walk away feeling so encouraged. If you've never been to IF Gathering before, prepare yourself for a time of really bonding with people at your table. You're welcome to sit with people you know or people that you don't know. I think I'd be prepared to worship the Lord and really be changed. I don't know exactly how God's going to change you individually, but I know He's going to speak. And it's really been beautiful to reflect on how God speaks to each person, whether the person is in a season of rejoicing or a season of mourning or a season somewhere in between. So be prepared for God to meet you where you're at. I'm learning more and more about God and His love for all people, no matter what they look like, um, and he, that He wants us to love and that He is love. God is love. The passion uh, and the fervor of the teachers in the sessions is like contagious and it just is really fun to watch and then to take that and just apply it in your life. It's been really fun. The advice that I will give to anyone that would like to come is that just come with a clear mind, a clear heart to receive what God has for you and to make new friends. Yeah, so if you're on the fence about it, just do it. Uh, you won't regret it. And there's just so many great women that you'll meet, um, as well as just like the worship is amazing. And then the teachings are um, awesome. And no matter if you come to all of it or just part of it, um, yeah, you'll take something away for sure.